three, two, one. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this tutorial for AutoArp. In this video, we'll cover setting up AutoArp and review some of its basic concepts. We'll start by adding AutoArp to the rack. Right click on some empty rack space and find AutoArp in the instruments menu. AutoArp is not an instrument per se, but it was necessary to categorize it as an instrument to enable use of the patch browser. As a note triggering device, AutoArp must be used with an instrument. We'll use this piano sampler. Press the tab key to go to the back of the rack. As you can see, AutoArp has quite a few connections, but for now we'll focus on the main outputs. Connect the matching outputs to the sequencer control inputs on the instrument device. Now hit Tab to get back to the front. As long as AutoArp has MIDI focus, you can begin playing it. We'll use the on-screen keyboard. Though AutoArp can be used in a variety of ways, let's go through the main sections to highlight some of its functionality. The first step in this process is to select the key and scale of our song. You do this by clicking in the key menu and selecting one of the keys. For now, we'll stick with C. Then we'll select a scale. AutoArp comes with over 60 scales, so there's a lot to choose from. To aid our selection process, we can enable the Audition Scale mode. To do this, click and hold the label Audition Scale, then drag your mouse up until the value shows On. All of the interface controls that look like this behave in the same manner. Now that the Audition Scales is on, let's press a key. Okay, so that's what a C major scale sounds like, played from the C note. We can hear what the different modes sound like by pressing different notes. Now let's try a few different scales. With the drop down menus, you can also use the up and down arrow buttons to cycle through the values. Let's turn off Audition Scale and select C Major before proceeding. Let's also turn off the Arpeggiator and the Chord Generator so we can focus on one module at a time. The way the Note Mapper module works is that when we play a note, it's matched to a root note in the current scale. Notice the black dot indicator as I play, showing each root note is matched. In its default settings, AutoArp will also correct any notes played out of scale. In this C major scale, you can see that C sharp, D flat, is not on the scale. If we play that note on a keyboard, it'll be mapped to C. This means we can play with confidence even without knowing the current scale by heart since any incorrect notes will be mapped to correct notes. Now let's turn on the chord generator. The chord generator works with the note mapping by searching over 60 chords built into AutoArp and finding the correct chord for each note in the scale. This is C major, so C is mapped by default to C major chord. Using the chord select control, we can select a different chord. If we select the E root note, we can see that it is mapped to the E minor chord, which is correct for this scale. As you can see, AutoArp could be used as a scale corrector for individual notes or as a chord generator, but it also includes a very powerful arpeggiator. Enable that now. The arpeggiator has many different settings which are described in the manual and potential future tutorials. Let's just go over a few. The rate changes the speed of the arpeggio. Gate length controls how long each note is held with a full value equaling a note tie. The extend controls will add more notes to the pattern based on your input chord.
and the play direction and play mode controls change the structure of the pattern. That covers the basic functionality in a quick overview. Experiment and have fun and make music.